This is a little help video if you have a Fisher & Paykel Auto Icon CPAP machine and you unplug it to travel, put it in the carrying bag like you always do, and you get to your destination, you plug it in and it's completely dead. Mine right now is of course live and working, but just a few minutes ago I got to my hotel and the thing is completely dead. It will not power up, nothing will happen. Uh, you think maybe you have a bad outlet, and that's not the case. So some reason, these things will just not power up until they're heated back up. The first time it happened, I thought maybe moisture got into the control boards, but it did not make any difference at all. Sorry for the movement. Uh, so what I found doing some research online is you have to heat up the control boards, and I will show you how to do that right now. So the first thing you would need is a Torque T20 or a star bit. And that's a T20 um, bit. If you can see that, it's kind of hard to see. That is a T20 bit. So what I did is I brought, because I've had this happen before, just a little ratcheting tool to get the screws out to take this apart. And of course you want to be careful when taking it apart um, with electronics and everything. So once you have your tool, the T20 torque bit, you want to flip this thing over. Now at the bottom you see there are these screws at the bottom. Uh, the four on the corners here are long screws and the three in the middle are shorter. So uh, kind of pain. Uh, you just want to start unscrewing them. And these ones here at the bottom are longer. You get them all out. Okay, now once you have all the screws removed into the side. You want to take this cover off now. It pops off fairly easily. You just grab on the bottom, it pops off. So now here, once it's open, you see you have the control board up here for the front for the controls. A couple sponge looking insulators. There is your motor. And here, here is the main boards that the power cord and everything hooks to. So what I did, and of course be careful if you have this plugged in, you don't want to get shocked, but I laid it here on its side. Took my hair dryer and put it on low. And I held the thing about six inches or so from these boards and just slowly ran the fan back and forth heating up these boards. I don't know if there's moisture, if there's an issue with the capacitor or what, but some reason those boards need to be heated up and dried. So I do that for about five or 10 minutes. And as I'm doing that, I'm watching the screen because once that board is ready, all of a sudden this screen will just turn on. And once it's on, you're good to go. Um, put the thing back together and then you're back in business. And, and luckily, this little trick has saved me four times now. I haven't got to get to my CPAP machine supplier to get a replacement machine or find out what's going on, but this at least gets you by. Because I know for me that going without my CPAP machine for one day, I am miserable. I cannot sleep, I cannot function without my machine. It's drastic. I constantly am waking up from stop breathing during my sleep. Uh, so this is just a little how to help hopefully fix your machine and get you back in business. Um, I'm not sure if there is a permanent fix for this, but this is what I found to take care of it. Uh, appreciate your time. Uh, have a good one.